Hey guys, welcome back to the new vlog. Today is actually Monday. No, today's Tuesday, actually. Today is Tuesday, the 14th of December. And uh, we just got some amazing TVC and Black Series news. We have both the Phoenix Shand and Boba from Book of Boba TVC figures were revealed today. So I do need to cover a video to talk about that. And then also the Black Series Bo-Katan helmet was revealed today. So I need to make a video talking about that too. Let's go ahead and get that filmed. But first, as you can tell... My my table's pretty empty, so let's go ahead and uh, get some figures set up. I'm thinking maybe some OT figures. I don't know. They're looking pretty sharp in there. We got it all set up here. I love this OT vibe. Of course, we have Han on the Tauntaun in the back, and then Luke, Leia, and the Rebel Trooper in the front. Man, I gotta get more of those Rebel Troopers if I ever can, because they are absolutely incredible. Really good figures. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this news video filmed. Just got out of the post office, and... Uh... I got a box in my P.O. box, so let's go ahead and open it once we get home. This is the one I've been expecting, and it finally did ship. Super happy to see what's in here. Let's go ahead and open it up. So, like I said, we did get a box, and it is from a good friend of mine, David. So thank you so much, David, for sending this to me. I don't know what it is, but um, unfortunately, the only way to open the box is from the top, and that has all the shipping information and everything on top, so I just put some tape over it because I uh, want to protect his privacy. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing open. I'm super happy to see what's in here. I have uh, no clue what's in here, by the way, like I said. So yeah, let's uh, let's find out. There we go. Oop, more tape on the side. Okay, we got all the tape cut. Air pocket. And it looks like we got a figure. Ayo! It is the stealth suit Captain America from the Winter Soldier. And it looks like it did get a little bit of a head swap, which is freaking awesome because that original Captain America Winter Soldier head was not pretty. But uh, he did get a head swap and it looks absolutely incredible this is my favorite captain america suit and it does look incredible so thank you so much david for sending this to me it it means the world yeah this guy is incredible and of course that is everything else in the box so dude thank you so much for sending this to me i uh i actually did recently just get the stealth suit captain carter so this is gonna look great next to her yeah such an awesome figure How are you? Okay guys, so it is actually now Monday of the uh, next week. I've just been really busy this week and I couldn't vlog unfortunately. So that's why we're gonna make this vlog two weeks worth instead of just one. And uh, then I actually haven't been able to do a video in a few days too. I've just been really busy. And uh, yeah, we're back on the YouTube grind though and we do have a box that came in. It's not uh, action figure related, but I guess technically it is. I can't show the front of it because it has my dress, but it is from Funko. Yeah, it's actually from Amazon. I bought it off Amazon. But, uh, yeah, I'm super happy. So let's go ahead and get this box open. Unfortunately, the only way to open this box is from the front, and that does have my address on it. So I'm just going to uh, get it out of the box without, uh, without showing you guys. And this is what we got. We got the uh, Office Funko Pop Advent Calendar. So, you know, there is uh, five days until Christmas, so we're a little bit behind on this. There is only 24 uh, mini pops in this, but I'm a huge office fan if you guys have ever watched the channel So I had to pick this one up. I believe it was 40 bucks on Amazon Which is I guess about the price of four normal sized pops. So I mean, I guess that makes it make sense uh, You know 24 small pops price of four normal ones, but yeah, there's some plastic we do have to rip off so let's go ahead and rip this off Okay, we got the plastic off, and, uh, so it looks like this is in it, like, its own, in oh, no, it's not, okay, so, it looks like it's just a little cover thing that goes down, you got all the different days here, and then, right here, we just have this little, like, office-themed, uh, flip folder thing, it says, Hoppy, Hoppy, it says, Happy Holidays from Dunder Mifflin, so, yeah, pretty cool, let's go ahead and, uh, start opening these. Okay, so we're gonna start with day one, and, um, it is, I probably could have guessed it, it is 
Wow, I'm not going to be able to open each one of these. Uh, it is Michael Scott. Very tiny. They're actually smaller than I thought they would be. They're like the keychain-sized versions. You can't even see it down there. It's right there. Um, You know, it's like the keychain-sized versions. But moving on to number two. So I guess we are actually just going to do the number of days up to it is right now. So we're going to go to number 20 right now. And then as the vlog continues, I'll do the last four. But uh, yeah, we're opening number two right now. Ooh, this one is green. I'm guessing this is Jim. I'm guessing... Yeah, we got Jim. Nice. I didn't even show Jim. Here's Jim. He's cool. He's got his hand in his pocket. Okay. Moving on to number three. We're just gonna go through these pretty quickly. Jim just took a tumble, and he's on his head now. But, uh, number three looks like it is Pam. She just went flying. Jeez, okay. We got, we got Pam now, too. Yeah, it's just, these are just like the normal pops, but the smaller versions of them. They have a very hard time standing up, as I can tell. Jeez, okay. Okay. Moving on to number four. What? Okay, so it looks like number four is... Number four is in the wrong spot, it looks like. But uh, number four, it looks like, is Daryl. Got Daryl, looking pretty cool. Moving on to number five. This is Oscar, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's Oscar. Pretty cool. Moving on to number six. This is a, this one's weird because this is like a plasticky one and this is a more of a, uh, rubbery kind of feel to it so this one is dwight pretty cool number seven yeah it, g it goes to the different type of plastic again i don't know what's up with that this looks like stanley but we'll see it is florida stanley nice okay now we're moving on to number eight Looks like Angela. I don't like these packages because these ones were so much easier to open and this one is not easy to open. I don't know if I just showed you guys that either, but this one is harder to open. This one is Angela. That's weird. They put like the, the legal information on the bottom of the head and it looks super weird. Yeah, this one is Angela. She does have like a little scratch from the cat, I'm guessing on her cheek, or maybe it's just dirty, I don't know. Number nine. Number nine looks like it's Andy. Gotta love Andy. And this is Now this one goes back to the more plasticky type of packaging too, that's really weird. But we do have Angie, a Angie, we have Andy, and he does have a little banjo too, pretty cool. Number 10. I'm guessing this is Phyllis. Yeah, it's Phyllis. Cool. Number 11. Is this... It's a Dundee? That is so cool. It's a Dundee. I didn't know this was a part of this. This is so cool. That is actually really cool. I don't know why, but... Moving on to number 12. We got, we got, a uh, Meredith that is flashing. Pretty cool. We're going <laughs> to keep on going. Number 13. We got, is this Toby? It looks like Toby. Shaw? <laughs> Yeah, we got uh, Toby, and he has the uh, the rock that says, suck this. Pretty cool. Okay, I just noticed this. He is literally balding. He has a huge bald spot. I love that they put that much detail into it, especially with Toby, because nobody likes Toby. Moving on to number 14. We got Goldface Jim. 
I love gold face gym so much. Yeah, that's awesome. Gold face gym. Really cool. Continuing with number 15. Oh, this is Kevin with chili. Gotta love Kevin with chili. Super cool. And uh, yeah, he's definitely balding too, but love Kevin with chili. Okay, moving on. Number 16. We got. We got Prison Mike. Heck yeah. Looks awesome. I love the bandana. Moving on to number 17. We got. Oh, I just hit the camera. Uh, <laughs> we got Moe's. Dwight's brother. And he says he has the fear shirt on. Super cool. I know this is probably really hard to see because the lights are like coming down. And the heads are so big. It's hard to see like their shirts and stuff. But he does have the shirt that says fear. Moving on to 18. Um, this is... Oh, what's the name of it? It's like Dwight's Santa Claus. I forgot the name of the character. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Moving on to number 19... Ah, I just threw it. Moving on to 19. What is this? I don't know if I know what this one is. Oh, it's Kelly. Okay, it's Kelly in her, um, I think it was her, like, Katy Perry outfit or something. I could be wrong. But yeah, it's, uh, Fancy Kelly. Moving on to number 20. This will be the last one for today. We have... Is this Ryan? I think that's supposed to be Ryan with the blonde hair. I don't remember him having glasses, though. Yeah, it's definitely Ryan. He's got the the fade at the back there to, like, his normal hair color. So, yeah, this is definitely Ryan. Okay, guys, so right now I think I'm actually going to stream. It is Tuesday night. I think I'm going to do a live Ask Lugness Monster. First, got to get some of this mess picked up, though, get some of those figures put away. And, uh, yeah. Well, so I had everything set up to stream. I really love the setup here, but I could not find my USB-C adapter for my Mac to plug into my webcam. So I can't stream unless I have that, and I have no clue where it is. I just spent the last hour looking for it, and at this point, it's almost too late to stream now, so I will just order another one off Amazon. It was pretty cheap, and um, I will do it another night. Okay, we are now on to the next day. This is day 21. Let's see what's inside. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's Creed. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Bloody Creed. I don't know if you guys can see this. I do apologize. Um, he's got blood all over his shirt, though. And, um, yeah, it's like Halloween Party Creed. Pretty cool. It is now time for day 22. Let's get this thing open. Ooh, I'm guessing this is Jan Levingston. Yeah, it's uh it's Jan Levingston from the uh the uh, house party episode. Pretty cool. Now time for day 23. Day 23 is, ooh, I like this one. It is Elf Dwight from, I believe, uh, one of the Christmas episodes. It might be the season seven one, because I believe, uh, no, maybe it, yeah, because it is, because he has the, like, different, like, a uh, like, nutcracker thing he made that Michael gave him, so I'm pretty sure it's from season seven. I could be completely wrong, though. Yeah, pretty cool. Gotta love Dwight. Okay, it is now the 24th, and still no uh, no USB, USB-C uh, converter thing, I don't know what to call it, uh, dongle, whatever you want to call it, uh, to stream with, so I haven't been able to stream. I was going to stream uh, two nights ago, I was going to stream last night and tonight, and none of it really is going to work because I can't find my adapter. So uh, anyway, we are going to film a video right now, we're going to film a video talking about the new ARC Trooper that was revealed, and maybe just some more... Uh, 
some more uh, figures we might get in the future using uh, the Arc Trooper mold. Now moving on to the last day. Pretty excited for this. Let's see what number 24 is. I'm hoping it's another version of Michael, only because we've only really got one so far. So, yes, it is Michael. It is classy Christmas Michael. I, uh, I'm a huge fan of this pop. I know uh, my brother does have the, the normal size version of this guy, but we do have the mini version now too, and it is pretty freaking cool. Alrighty guys, today is now Friday, it is Christmas Eve, and we actually just got two packages in from GameStop. So, yeah, let's go ahead and open up the first one. We'll start with this big one, and then we'll get to the smaller one. I don't even know if this is all of the order. We will see once we get it open. But yeah, super happy to finally pick this up. I was looking for it in stores, and I could never find it, but I saw GameStop actually had it on sale. So I, uh, I had to pick it up. Ah, yes. We finally got the integrated suit from Spider-Man No Way Home. I saw that movie uh, last week and one of the best movies of all time. Gonna say it. I really liked it. And so I saw GameStop had it on sale. I had to pick it up. And I do believe that we also have another box to open. So it's a long story, so basically I saw this was on sale, and I had a $15 GameStop coupon to redeem, so I went to redeem it, but unfortunately it wouldn't let me use it on Spider-Man, so I had to use it by the end of the year, by which is like a week, so I bought some other stuff to go with it, which I actually got for free, technically, so um, yeah, let's see what's in here. Okay, so they did send me both, it looks like. Okay, that's interesting. Never seen anything packaged like this. But that looks like that's all of all of that box. So we actually got uh, two pops. One of them is this one, which I will open first. This is one that I didn't get for free. I saw it and I just had to pick it up. And... Um, so yeah, it's not one I got for free, but really cool anyway. And it is... Boss from Republic Commando. I gotta pick him up. I'm a huge Republic Commando fan. And I don't collect a ton of pops, but um, I saw it and I had to get it. So that was the first pop. And the second pop was the only pop I could find on the website that the $15 coupon uh, allowed me to claim. So this one I got for free. And it is from the office. It is uh, Moe's Shroot with like the fear on his shirt. I know we actually just opened up the mini version of this on the advent calendar earlier in this video. But we do have the normal sized one now too. I got it for free considering that um, uh, I had that $15 coupon. And then to... Uh, I act this, I guess this hasn't come in yet. It hasn't shipped yet. But I also got uh, a little keychain too, a little pop keychain. And that was only because I needed two more dollars to get free shipping. And free shipping was like $7. So I bought like a $3 coup or a $3, a $3 keychain. And that actually lowered the price. But I guess that hasn't shipped yet, which is kind of weird. But we did get Spider-Man and that was the main thing we wanted. So yeah, let's... um, I think actually today I'm going to film my review on this guy. So let's go ahead and uh, film that real quick, and then I will unbox it for you guys. Alrighty guys, so we do have a little bit of a Christmas haul here, so uh, thanks so much to all the family and friends who got me some of these gifts. But yeah, we do got some stuff to unbox, and I wanted to do it on uh, on the vlog for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm thinking we should start off with uh, Endgame Cap here. Okay, so starting off with Cap. So technically, it's not Endgame Cap. It's Avengers Cap. But, um, you know, he showed up in Endgame, so they called it Endgame. And I'm fine with that. This is just, you know, classic Avengers Captain America and uh, looks awesome. One thing I love about this, though, is the shield. It's like a shiny red color. And all the other cap shields I have aren't that color. It's a dull, like, plasticky cherry red. And this is a nice silver red, so I love that. 
Nice looking shield. Definitely my favorite shield. Uh, I'm going to leave Thor's arm in there because I don't really need Thor's arm. But yeah, I mean, it is uh, Captain America. One thing I don't like is uh, these like thigh joints. It's like a tiny ball to connect it to the, the legs there. But it looks a little strange. I don't know. Uh, the head, though, looks incredible. I might have to switch this out with a uh, a uh, just an open head Chris Evans head. Uh, only other thing, too, is his arms are, like, really wide. That's as far in as his arms go. So it looks like he's just buff and super ripped. He can't... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, pretty cool, though. Also wish, you know, put the shield on his back, but it's not the end of the world. Pretty cool-looking figure. Now, next up is Clone Captain Rex, and this is... Or, Bad Batch Rex, what do you want to call it? But this is one I'm super happy to get because I originally missed the pre-order, but my madre was lucky enough to pick one up. And uh, yeah, I'm super stoked about this. I did not think I would end up getting this. And this is, I believe, one of the only Phase 2 clones that I don't have. So yeah, let's get this sucker open. I'm definitely going to have to do a Rex comparison in a little bit. Maybe later this week. There's a good hair or something on it, but yeah, looking incredible. Pop the head off. So that is very interesting. Very interesting. So the helmet is a very like soft, it's not very soft, it's decently hard plastic, but it's very thin compared to what the original Captain Rex helmet is. As you can tell, it's pretty hollow whereas the other one is pretty thick it's pretty it's a bigger helmet but yeah i'm really digging how this this helmet looks yeah it looks incredible and of course we do have rex here i'm not sure how i feel about the cloak on it i might have to take the cloak off and of course he does suffer from shiny face syndrome but yeah honestly i do think the blue looks so much crisper on this this captain rex compared to the old one it's a very more like a much crisper blue only thing is uh the old captain rex has a more of like a glossier tint to it where this is a more matte tint but yeah very similar figures all together i might have to take this cloak off but yeah it looks incredible okay next up is an actual microphone this is one that i'm really happy to get i don't have a mic i normally just film with a headset like like a like a gaming headset. And so, um, yeah, we uh, got a mic now. So I do believe this is a USB mic, so I probably will have to get an adapter for my phone. Because if you guys also didn't know, I film on an iPhone 13 Pro. It films in 4K, so I figure I can just use that instead of, you know, getting an actual camera. It films in great quality. And plus, I also have a Mac is what I edit on. So it's super easy to transfer clips from my phone to my Mac. So, you know, I don't really need an actual camera. So I just use my phone. And because of that, I'm probably gonna have to get a adapter for the mic. But yeah, it's definitely gonna be worth it. Until then, I can definitely use it when streaming. But yeah, this looks awesome. More tape on the bottom. Okay. Never had a mic before and uh, super excited to test this out. Oh, if I can get it open. Jeez, okay. Okay, as soon as I get this box open, I will continue the video. I feel stupid now. I was trying to open it from the wrong side. Ooh, I love this. It's a nice foam. So it looks like we got a USB cable and quick start guide. Some nice foam. I, I, I like myself some foam. And then we got the mic. I love the packaging for this. It looks awesome. Looks like we do have a little tripod for it. Pretty nice if I don't throw it. Very heavy tripod too. And then of course we got the actual mic. I cannot wait to start using this for videos. Hopefully it improves my sound quality a ton because if you guys haven't noticed, I don't have the best sound quality. But yeah, super, super excited to try this out. That looks like everything in the box. We got more foam though. I love my foam. But yeah, pretty cool. Cannot wait to, to get started with this. Okay, so continuing, we also do have this... Uh, portable vlog kit is what it is called but 
yeah, basically the one thing that's super cool about this is uh, the top of the tripod has a ring light and that'll be good for uh, what I do because obviously I have, if you guys don't know, I have a light on this side coming from this way and I have a light coming from this way, but nothing straight forward. So a ring light right here going straight forward will actually help with just lighting a ton and that's something I'm really excited to see how it turns out in my video. So let's go ahead and unbox this right now. Not a ton of tape, it just ripped, but. Stuff has already fallen out, but. That was very, very well packed, if you could not tell. Okay, so it does look like we have, of course, the ring light here. Looking pretty nice. We have this little remote, I guess. So I think what you do is you hook this up to Bluetooth, and then you can just start the camera by clicking the remote, so you don't actually have to click the screen. But, so that's pretty cool. We obviously do have the little thing that holds the phone, and then we do have the tripod itself. Pretty cool, and it does extend. That extends a whole lot more than I thought it did. Wow, okay. So... So yeah, that extends a ton. Okay, cool. That'll be perfect. This will be my new, uh, my new tripod, I guess. Then we do also have all three of these, but I'm gonna leave them on card right now. I might open them later. And if I do, I will let you guys know, but until then, uh, we're gonna leave them on card. And then another really cool thing we got is uh, this pretty much it's like a, a riser thing for a display case or a detolf and it is super cool and that's actually because instead of having uh, like a, a display case with all of the figures all on the same level what you can do is you can stack them up on the risers and so you can see some of the people in the back rather than than them just getting kind of lost so this is only one riser I'm probably gonna have to buy a few more of these but uh, yeah it's super nice to try and check this out on my own We have the riser, and I think that's it. Looks like we got a little like microfiber cloth just to clean it off too. Yeah, it looks like there's actually two risers in here, which is super cool. So I can use two different ones. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get these uh, set up. So here's one of them, and uh, looks like pretty much what you do is uh, you take the riser, and I'm guessing. I'm guessing what you do is you take the screw out and then put it through the hole there and then rescrew it. So we got the first riser set up and uh, yeah, it's just an acrylic riser. So I think we're actually gonna use this one in the Clone Wars display. So let's go ahead and get some of those clones out and then set up on the riser. As you can tell, my Clone Wars shelf is in pretty much shambles right now. Everything's just laying there. So we're gonna get all those figures out, put the riser in and then set everybody back up and see how it looks. And uh, here is what it looks like afterwards. I absolutely like that. Only thing is this 501st right here kind of looks out of place, but still looks great. Kind of see Ryan Reynolds, or I almost called Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman's head there. That was from a previous video. I'll link that in the card right now if you do want to check that video out. But uh, yeah, I do like how this came out. Now we got to find somewhere else for this other riser to go. I'm thinking the other riser could go here in the Imperial shelf or in the marble shelf. Either one will work.